Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're on page 251, and we are not learning anything new. Today's a math task, so we're just gonna work out some problems together. So the entire day, or video, I'm gonna be using my green pen, and we're just gonna work as a team. We're not going to need um, our red pen at all. What you are probably going to want today though, because they don't give us enough room to work, is you're probably going to want at least one piece of paper. I actually got myself two pieces of paper, and I'm going to choose to fold each one of mine into fourths. So I have one piece of paper here that I just folded into fourths, and then I'm gonna fold another one into fourths. Now, I'm using marker, so it'll go through the back. If you only wanna have one piece and use the front and back, that's okay. But they do not give us enough room to do any of our work, ladies and gentlemen. So again, I have two pieces of paper folded into fourths, and that's going to help me. Okay, so today, our objective is, um, today I will apply and demonstrate Today I will apply and demonstrate my, sorry, that's a sloppy M, my understanding of division. Okay, so again, we're not learning anything new. Apply means use, and demonstrate means show. So today I'll use and show my understanding of division. That's all we're going to be doing today is working through some problems together. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. We are on page 252, and we have kind of a three-step problem here. Our first says, Craig the farmer uses, a bo uses boxes of different sizes to box his fruits and vegetables. Apple boxes hold six apples. Cantaloupe boxes hold four cantaloupes. Potato boxes hold 12 potatoes. Tomato boxes hold eight tomatoes. It says, our first question says, Farmer Craig has 24 of everything. 24, which means he has 24 apples, 24 cantaloupes, 24 potatoes, and 24 tomatoes. How many boxes will he need? Okay, so I'm gonna use my, my paper here. And I'm gonna use one of my squares. I'm gonna use one of my squares for my apples. Okay, so he has 24 apples and he needs to divide them into groups of six. That's what we have. He has 24 apples and he needs to divide them into groups of six. And we wanna know how many groups. We don't know how many groups, which will be the boxes. So we could say we have 24 apples and we need to make groups of six. Well, that's not going to help, so let's unbundle those, and let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and let's put six in a group. One, two, three, four, five, six. So those six can go in a group. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those six can go in a group. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those six can go in a group. And one, two, three, four, I'm sorry, five, six. Those six can go in a group. And pretty much our groups here represent our boxes. So he's going to have 24 apples divided into six in each group will be four groups. He's going to need four apple boxes. That's what he's going to need. Okay, let's look at our cantaloupes. Our cantaloupe, he has 24 of them, and he needs to divide them into four cantaloupe per group. 
and we need to know how many groups. So we could do the same strategy. We could even do a different strategy. We could use an area model if, we don't, if we're done with the drawing. I might do an area model for this one. So I could do my rectangle and I could put my div dividend inside, my divisor outside, and I could do my place values and I could say four can go into two, nope. Four can go into 24, yes. How many times? Six, and it's six ones. And look at that's not quite an area model, it's just six with nothing left over. That was really quick. Some of you might have even just known that as a basic fact. Okay, let's look at our next one. So he needs six cantaloupe boxes. Okay, let's look at our potatoes. Our potato is, he has 24 potatoes and they say each box could hold 12. And how many boxes or groups does he need? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, how many of you think you already know that? 24 divided by 12? I bet a lot of you already know that basic fact. That is two. I think we could do that one just by knowing our basic facts. So he's gonna need two potato boxes. Okay, let's look at our tomato. Okay, he has 24 tomatoes and he needs to put eight in a box, so eight in each group, and how many groups or boxes does he need? Why don't we do our drawing our picture for this one again? We'll do our measuring up strategy. So he has 24 and he needs to put eight in a group. So we have to unbundle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and let's make groups of eight. So I counted out eight and I can make one group of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can make another group of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I was able to make three groups of eight, which means Craig the farmer needs three tomato boxes. Okay, let's look at question B. He sent eight full boxes of apples to the farmer's market. He sent eight full boxes of apples to the farmer's market. Well, so he had eight full boxes of apples. Well, how many are in each apple box? So he had one, two, three, four boxes of apples. I'm sorry, eight boxes of apples, I apologize. And how many are in, in each one? It says apple boxes hold six. So if he had eight full and they had six in each, this is what he sent to them. Eight full boxes with six in each. So we could count those friends if we needed to. We could say we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. He sent 48, 48 apples. Okay, let's look at C. C says, Farmer Craig picked 50 potatoes. So now he has 50 potatoes. Okay, I might write that. 50 potatoes, how many boxes will he fill? Like completely fill? Well, how much goes in each one? 12, ooh, okay, so we have to draw these out. Okay, ready. 
So if he has 50 potatoes, that looks like that, but that's not going to work. So we're gonna to have to unbundle all those, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are his potatoes, and he can put twelve in a box. Okay, so let's count out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Those go in one box. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's another box of twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here's another box of twelve we just made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here's another box of twelve we made. Okay, so I was able to make four boxes. How many does he have left over though? He had two left over. So how many boxes will he need? Well, he's gonna need four boxes, but then he'll need a box for this, so shouldn't he get five boxes total? Five boxes, then he'd be able to ship all of them out. Okay, there is a question on the back. Let's look at this. Okay, this says, Robert wrote the number 3,900, I'm sorry, 3,985. Julio wrote a five digit number that only, that has only one three in it. The three in Julio's number is 10 times less than the three in Robert's number. Write two different numbers that Julio could have written in each box. Okay, so what do I see? The three in Julio's number is 10 times less. So what do I remember? 10 times equals one place value. We need to move the three one place value. But then it says less. So which direction would I move the three to make it worth less? Well, right now it's worth 10,000. So that's worth 30,000, right? So if I want it to be worth less, Numbers are worth less over here, and they're worth greater on this side. So we need to move it to where the nine is. So we need to put the three where the nine is. Anything else could be in the rest of the numbers, but that's where our three needs to go. So we could say one, three, two, four, five. Or I could have said like nine, nine eight, seven, six. I could have put anything I wanted as long as the three was there. And then it says, pick one of the numbers you wrote above and circle it. Let's circle this one. Use pictures, numbers, or words to show how you know the three in Julio's number is worth 10 times less than the three in Robert's number. Well, Robert's number, let's write Robert and Julio. Robert's number is 39,185, and Julio's number is 93,876. But Robert's three is worth 30,000, and Julio's three is worth 3,000. And the reason I know that is because this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, and this is 10,000. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, 10,000. So his is worth three ten thousands, and Julio's was only worth 3,000. That's how I would probably explain that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.